when we're talking about angles now, we're going to be talking about angles in standard position on a coordinate system. The position of an angle, an angle in standard position is an angle that has its initial arm on the positive x-axis, which is like there. See that in red? That's where the initial arm always is for an angle in standard position. So I'm just going to call that initial arm. And then its vertex is at the origin of a coordinate grid. So one arm of the angle is there. The vertex is at the origin. So I can put the other arm, which we call the terminal arm, anywhere that I want. I'm going to put it right there. So that's the terminal arm, and that's the initial arm of this angle, theta, in standard position. Positive and negative angles is the next thing that I have here, so you may need to skip down on your sheet, negative angle. An angle is positive if we rotate the terminal arm counterclockwise, an angle is negative if we rotate the terminal arm clockwise. So draw theta equals 120 degrees. Well, that's pretty much what I drew on the other one, right? It's like that, 120 degrees. But then if I want negative 120 degrees, what does that look like? Yeah, it comes from here, 120 degrees. So which quadrant is it going to be? Is the terminal arm going to be in? Like quadrant one, two, three, four, three. three. <coughs> Negative 120 degrees would be like that. Reference angle, it's at the bottom of your page actually. The angle formed between the terminal arm and the x axis is called the reference angle. And then it says find the reference angle of theta equals 150 degrees. Where would 150 degrees be? Which quadrant would the terminal arm be in? It would be in the second one, right? So it's going to be kind of there, ish, 150 degrees. It's asking for the reference angle. The reference angle is measured between the terminal arm and the closest x-axis. So not necessarily the positive, could be the negative one, and in this case it's a negative. The reference angle is in there. And what would the measure of that angle in there be? 30, yeah. So for 150 degrees, the reference angle is 30 degrees. And we know that because all the way over to that negative x-axis, that's 180 degrees. If this much of it is 150 degrees, then there's 30 left over. So it's just 180 minus um, 150. Sometimes the reference angle is the angle in standard position. So that would be like if it was in the first quadrant. Or sometimes it's 180 minus the angle, or it could be the angle minus 180. We're going to work with that. You'll see different ways to calculate it. But it's always a positive number, the reference angle, and it's always between the terminal arm and whichever end of the x-axis is closest to the angle. Coterminal angles. Coterminal angles are angles in standard position with the same terminal arms. And it says draw the first positive coterminal angle of 60 degrees. And I have these in degrees because I know you're still better at probably thinking in terms of degrees than radians. But 60 degrees, that might be a bit bigger than 60, but it's around there, right? That's 60 degrees. A coterminal angle has the same terminal arm, so I'm going to draw it in. Here's the I need that coterminal angle. 
Oh, there we go. That blue line. See it? But here's the angle of 60 degrees just from that x-axis to that line. Here's the coterminal angle. It starts here and goes all the way around to there. And what's the measure of that angle? Sorry? 420. How'd you get that? Yeah. It was 360, the whole circle, plus another 60. So it's 420. That's the first positive coterminal angle of 60 degrees. If you wanted to do another one, 420 plus 360 would give you another one. At another 360 would give you another one. You can go around and around that circle as many times as you need to and keep finding coterminal angles. So how many angles are there that are coterminal with 60? An infinite number. Yep, an infinite number of angles. Oh, principal angle is on here. Principal angle is an angle that exists between 0 and 360. I'm going to change this question to 460 degrees. So find the principal angle of 460 degrees. Where would you find 460 degrees? Which quadrant? Quadrant 2, yeah. So it would be kind of around there, right? Because 460 is all the way around to 360 and then another 100. So it's this angle is 460, there all the way around to there. <coughs> what is the principal angle for that one? 100, right. I'm going to call it theta P for principal. That's 100. What's the reference angle? So I'm going to call that theta r for that. 80. I just wanted to move it into that quadrant so you can see the difference. The principal angle you measure from the positive x-axis directly there without the extra revolutions that might be part of it. The reference angle you measure to the nearest x-axis. So for this one... For 60, the principal angle is 100, the reference angle is 80. And then there's just one more thing here that's not on your sheet that we'll talk more about later, but the general term for coterminal angles. Like I already said, there are an infinite number of coterminal angles possible for any given angle. We can represent all of these potential angles with this formula. Theta C, so for coterminal, is theta i, the initial angle, plus or minus 360n. So to find any coterminal angle, you add 360 however many times you want. So you could add 1, 360, and then 2, and then 3, or you could subtract 360s to also find coterminal angles.